Hi Christmas crew, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. If you are short on time and want to stay on budget this holiday season, no worries. I have you covered today. We're going to use supplies you can find at Dollar Tree and most projects only take about five minutes from start to finish. And before we get started, if you haven't yet, could you take a second and hit the subscribe button? We are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers here and I'd love to get there by the end of this, the Cozy Christmas Cottage's third holiday season. It's free and it will bring you more Christmas content like this to inspire you. Thank you in advance. If you do subscribe, we're going to jump into our five minute projects now. We're going to make some chic wax seals that look so fancy but take no time to make you can find some glitter glue sticks at the dollar tree you'll also need some wax paper to cover your surface i'm going to be using some solid color glue sticks hopefully dollar tree at some point will also start carrying these and get the hint that we need these we are crafters and we need these um, you can find them at craft stores i found mine on amazon you just squeeze some out onto your wax paper about the size of a quarter then you will need a wax seal stamp I found mine on Amazon again you can find them really inexpensively at craft stores too in lots of different styles and for different holidays and seasons you just set it down in the wax pull it off after a few minutes and you have a beautiful fancy looking wax seal that takes less than five minutes to make and it is going to really amp up your Christmas decor and gift giving I will say Dollar Tree now carries these glue gun pads. They're silicone mats. If you see these, grab one. You can use these in place of your wax paper and your seals will come off super quick and easy. It was a little bit more difficult to get them off the wax paper, but it does work. So this is the same thing, just using my gold colored glue sticks for this one. Let it sit in the wax for a couple minutes before then removing it. And then as you can see, we have a beautiful design. Now this one has kind of a marble effect because I still had some of that green color in my glue gun and then I wanted to show you some that were just the solid gold too. I will make sure to link all the supplies I'm using in today's video down in the description box but hopefully you can find a lot of this at your local Dollar Tree too. So now how do you actually use these wax seals? Well, I'm using some stick glue here to just attach them onto the back of some envelopes. It's a really pretty way to then give your Christmas cards, gift money, gift cards in. You can add them onto your gift wrap. It really just takes your regular everyday gift wrap and adds an extra special little touch on there and it makes it look super duper fancy. You can even do your glue sticks straight onto your item and stamp them on there too without having to glue them. Up next, we're gonna grab some boxes bottle brush trees. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I ended up using some that I already had on hand to save some money and you'll need some candle cups. I found these at Hobby Lobby, super cheap. You can find them on Amazon too. I decided to paint them three different colors. Well, one I left plain and then I did two other colors of brown to give them sort of a uh, stained wood look. These are my bottle brush trees. I think they were from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. I like to reuse my decor if I can to make them look new again and I'm just hot gluing the trees right down into the candle cups. It just really takes some basic looking trees and gives them a little bit more style. And speaking of style, you can definitely personalize these, make the candle cups whatever color you want or leave them plain, add whatever trees that you have on hand or the ones that match your decor. I love the way these look on a tiered tray since they're kind of miniature, but you can also add different size trees on here. Sky's the limit with these and they take next to no time at all to make. So quick and easy and affordable. Next, we're gonna make sort of a candle in the window. So I picked up one of these miniature windows from Dollar Tree. You can see they come in black and white. I'm just using a white one for this. They do have signs on the front, but they pop off super easy, take some heat to them, and then remove any of the adhesive left behind. And we're gonna make a wreath. You guys see me use this all the time. It is a wired garland. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it at craft stores, and I'll link some down below for you. I love it because it has that wire in it so you can actually layer it to make it bigger and more bulky and give it a little bit more fluff than just using one layer. So that's what I did here. Just kind of wound the tail around it to make sure it all stayed together and then use some hot glue to attach this wreath onto the front of the window. Now we're also going to make this interchangeable. So I love the idea of wreaths on the windows and if you use different types of ribbon you can make this for different holidays and seasons. 
We're going to make a simple bow by crossing the tails at the bottom and bringing the loop center down to meet the center where those X's cross. And then we're going to scale down the size of our bow to fit the size of the wreath. So you just pull the tails to scale down the loops and then pinch the center when you're happy with it. Tie a little bit of floral wire around the middle to make it stay and then cut your tails at an angle so it gives it a fancy look. Once you get done with that, we can actually take the wire and wire it to the wreath. And this is the part that's kind of interchangeable. Instead of gluing this on, you could use different ribbons and change them out for different holidays and seasons, maybe yellow for summertime. And you could put the red one back on for Valentine's Day. So lots of ideas there, just trimming down the wire so it didn't stick out all over the place. Fluff your bow. And then I have a little tray, raised tray here, Put a candle behind it, LED battery powered candle, and then propped the window in front of it. I think this is so, so pretty. It gives you that candle in the window effect. I love the glow of the candle. And then obviously, depending on how you display this, you can make this work for year round. Next, we're gonna make the cutest little nativity scene using some tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. You'll need two of those along with two popsicle sticks. Take some hot glue, add that to the center of your popsicle stick and put them together. This is gonna double it up so it's a little bit thicker. Then I'm gonna use my miter shears. You could also use some heavy duty scissors here, but this just makes sure we get straight cuts and we just crimp off the curved end and then cut this down to about an inch and a half. I did cut this down a little bit smaller, maybe an inch at most. And this is gonna be our little baby Jesus. We will get there in just a little bit. We also need to cut down the size of one of our Jenga blocks so it's a little bit shorter. So I'm using my miter shears again here to cut that off. Then we're gonna put this all together, make sure it's sized and scaled right for us. And now we need to give them heads. So these are wood beads. You can find a Dollar Tree in different sizes. So we're just going to hot glue those on the tops of the Jenga blocks and make sure those dry really well. And then we need to decorate up our people. So this is just a little bit of light blue grow grain ribbon that I am hot gluing onto the head and down off to the sides. Then we also are gonna give Joseph some burlap ribbon, again from Dollar Tree, just kind of giving it a little bit of a sash on the front of him, trimming down the tails, and then we are going to hot glue these guys together. Now we need to work on baby Jesus, so we are going to take our little uh, popsicle sticks, add a smaller bead to the top of this one, let that dry, and then I used a little bit of burlap as a blanket for him, trim that all down, and then also put a little bit on the top so it covered his head. And we are going to hot glue that right on to the front. Now, I thought it would also be kind of cute to add a little star on the top of this miniature nativity scene, and Dollar Tree also carries wooden stars luckily so i grabbed one of those out and also a piece of floral wire we're gonna hook the floral wire over to give it a little bit of bulk and so it'll grab on to our hot glue a little bit better on the back of the star and then we're gonna glue the rest of the wire on the back side of this nativity scene so our star is kind of up in the sky so here's our cute simple easy quick but so so cute miniature nativity scene Now we're gonna turn this home sign from Dollar Tree into a quick and easy gingerbread house. We're gonna flip it over to the back side, remove the jute, take that all off. And we're also gonna remove the stickers from the back as we're gonna be using the back side for this. A little bit of heat will help get the stickers off to help you scrape it with a scraper and then use some Goo Gone to remove any additional adhesive. I went over the entire surface to make sure it would all dry evenly. Then we're gonna use a chalk marker to create our gingerbread house design. I will make sure to link my chalk markers down in the description box below, but sometimes you can find chalk markers at Dollar Tree as well. You just have fun creating your little house. And if you use several of these, you could even make a quick and easy gingerbread village that would be so, so cute on a shelf. 
Now we're going to grab one of the snowflakes from Dollar Tree and create a snowy scene raised tray. I did want the snowflake to look like it was snowy, so I took some chalk paint and went over the entire front and the sides with the chalk paint, just kind of messily, so it still had sort of a rustic look to it, but you can completely cover it with a few coats if you want. This is what it looks like once it's dry. We're also going to use a bubble vase from Dollar Tree. Set that right down in the center of the snowflake. Fill it up with some Epsom salt. You could use other types of faux snow if you wanted to. And adding a little red truck with a Christmas tree in it from Dollar Tree right down in the center there. Kind of push it down into the Epsom salt. And this is a small dessert plate from Dollar Tree. We're gonna set right on top. Now I didn't glue anything together because I like my projects to be usable the next year or if I want them to be used for another project down the road. So I just have mine setting all together. This makes a fun way to display treats. You could put candles on it. You could put gifts on it. You could use it for centerpieces. This is just a fun, quick and easy centerpiece or raised tray idea. Dollar Tree has lots of great wrapping paper, or if you're like me, you have some extras laying around the house, grab that out, grab some scissors. We're going to cut out a square or rectangle shape, uh, just a small size, and we're going to make sure we have nice clean edges for this, and we're going to make some really simple and easy Christmas trees. So take some stick glue, run it along the right side edge, and then we're going to grab onto the top left corner and roll it down to the bottom right corner, creating a cone shape. So you just kind of twist it, roll it until you get the point at the top and then you get a wider bottom or base and then your glue at the edge should grab on as you roll it up. Make sure you kind of hold it in place until that glue has some time to dry and you have an instant Christmas tree cone. We do need to kind of smush the bottom but don't crease it and cut off the bottom so it is flat and even and it'll stand up for you. So now we have one Christmas tree and you can make several of these. What I like about this is a lot of wrapping papers kind of come in coordinating patterns. If you have that, it makes it so easy to make a fun set that you can then add to shelves, onto a mantle, onto your fireplace, or like I'm showing you here, they look so, so cute on a raised tray too. I'm sure we've all seen these great glass pillar candles at Dollar Tree and they come in some really fun colors now, but we're gonna make a snowman. So we are going to use the traditional white pillar candles for this. You'll also need a paint pen. I'm using a black one here to make bigger dots for eyes, some little dots for a smile and some bigger circles filled in for some buttons down the bottom. You'll also need an orange paint pen to create a carrot nose and let that dry. We're gonna take a piece of, this is actually a bandana from Dollar Tree. We're gonna cut a strip of that off to create a scarf for our snowman. Just tie it around his neck, make a couple knots, and then we're gonna cut down the size of it so it's not so long. It also helps to add some little slits along the edge of the scarf to make it look more like a scarf. <laughs> and then my scarf was kind of all over the place, so some glue dots helped to fix that. We're gonna put that underneath the little tails of the scarf and that'll help hold it down. If you love snowmen, I have two videos dedicated to snowman projects that I will link at the end of this video, so make sure to click on over and watch those next. Every time I use these cinnamon sticks, I tell you guys, get them from Dollar Tree. You won't find them cheaper anywhere else. I finally found them in my store to grab a photo because so many of you said you have not been able to find them. They are with the spices, usually on the hanging strip. They're still only a dollar even after the price increase. If you see these, grab them. You will not find these cheaper anywhere else. We're going to use them today in this project. You could use them for your cooking too if you want. They are food grade. But we are going to create a cinnamon stick Christmas tree ornament with several different styles of and various sizes of ribbon. So we're going to tie a few of them on to the center, double knotting them. You could use whatever color ribbon you want. I just had a lot of different colors of reds. So that's why my Christmas tree is red. Just stacking them and kind of spacing them out as well. Once you get the ribbon tied on, kind of 
fluff them out and then you can take your scissors and cut them up at an angle just like a Christmas tree would be. So you want to get shorter and shorter as you get to the top and you're going to do that on both sides. So once you get the top trimmed, flip it over, do the other side and try to match as best as you can the lengths from the other side. Then to hang them and make them into ornaments, you just take a little piece of string, tie it at the top, add a little bit of hot glue if you want to make sure that it stays. And then you have a quick and easy Christmas tree ornament. Love these and they smell so good too. If you can find these wood planks at Dollar Tree, grab them for this next project or they also have wood shelves that you could use too or grab some out of your scrap wood pile if you have that. Any kind of wood will work for this. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. We're gonna take our wood and we're going to either stain them or paint them. I'm kind of doing the best of both worlds here using traditional burnt umber acrylic paint. It's not too thick so you can still see the wood grain but it dries faster than our traditional wood stain wood and I still love the outcome of this. Then you're going to take a paint pen and we're going to create really simple Christmas trees. So this one, I'm just taking the paint pen going straight down the center of my piece of wood and doing little leaves or branches of the tree kind of jetting out from both sides. Super quick and easy, simple Christmas tree design. You can make a big group of these and do different styles of trees. That would be really, really cute too. And make it match your decor. If you wanted to do colors, you could do that too. I added a little star on the top of my tree and it just seemed like it was a little bit too plain. Some people like plain, that's fine too. But I wanted to add a little bit of color at the top here. So this is some red velvet ribbon that I just tied along the top. You could skip this part completely, but for the most part, we're just drawing a Christmas tree on a piece of stained wood. Five minute project. The dry time for the paint probably takes the longest, but you can definitely draw on your Christmas trees in no time at all. Now we're gonna make a snowy scene. You'll need some kind of container with a lid. Mine is a mason jar from Dollar Tree. We're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna add some faux snow to the inside. I am using some Epsom salt. That's just what I end up using a lot of times for faux snow, because you can get it at Dollar Tree. You can get it from most department stores and hardware stores too. So we're just gonna kind of fill it up, shake it so it's even, and then we're gonna add whatever we want to the inside. I had some bottle brush trees on hand, so we're just kind of push that down into the snow and then we're also going to add something that's really going to give this extra Christmassy vibes. We're going to add some fairy lights that you can also find a Dollar Tree to. You just add a couple batteries into them, turn them on, and then kind of wind them around your hand. They come on wire, so they hold their shape. So we're going to put that down into the inside of our jar, kind of have the wire hanging out the side. Then go ahead and put your lid back onto your jar and just in about five minutes we have a really beautiful snowy Christmas scene. The lights just have such a beautiful glow, especially when you turn the lights down or it gets dark outside. Very quick, easy, and simple. I love, love, love this wire welcome wreath form. I wish they would get them in different sayings, but we'll go with welcome. If you can't find them, you can also do something similar with an embroidery hoop. You can find those on Amazon and at craft stores and Walmart too. We are going to very simply just add some fur branches or fur needles onto the bottom of this wreath to turn it from an everyday wreath into a Christmas one. It's so easy to just use some floral wire to wire these on since they're pretty thin and hot glue doesn't work very well. If you use some wire, you are ensuring that your little fur branches are not gonna fall off. So just twist those on. I did two on each side. And then to cover up the wire in the center where they all meet, we're gonna hot glue on some little mini pine cones. That was it. Such a cute little addition to a Dollar Tree wire wreath form turned into a very chic looking Christmas wreath. I'm always looking through the Dollar Tree calendars to see if there's any cute designs in them. This one has a ton of them and has a really pretty Christmas design too. It says Merry Christmas, little fur branches in a mason jar. So I grabbed this calendar, gonna save the rest for the rest of the year projects. And we are very simply just going to cut down this design to fit into a Dollar Tree picture frame. 
The awesome thing about this project is that you could use all of the different designs in this calendar and switch them out so it becomes interchangeable all year long. It takes no time at all. It is pretty much mess free and looks so cute. And I love the Dollar Tree also carries so many great different styles of picture frames. You could really personalize this to match your decor and use it year round. Another great five minute project are creating some mittens used for decor. Now these are mittens I already had, but you can find mittens at Dollar Tree too. I'm using some jute and a large needle to feed the jute through both ends of the mitten so I can make these hangable. And we're going to then just stick some branches into the mittens so they kind of become little floral pockets for us. These branches I think are from Hobby Lobby. They have some really affordable ones and right now actually their Christmas is 60% off so you could probably get some even better deals right now. And you just stick those in there and then you can hang these on your front door. I hung mine on this old sled that I had. I also really like this because it becomes decor that's not just for Christmas but it's also great all winter long. This next project, I'm going to be using some wood coasters from Hobby Lobby, super affordable, but Dollar Tree does carry coasters that you could use too. I'm using a paint pen to just draw on some simple snowflakes and then I sealed it with some clear matte spray. You could Mod Podge this even to make it a little bit more waterproof and then you have quick instant little coasters that you can use again all winter long making snowflakes with paint pens and chalk markers is so quick and easy an easy way to dress up an everyday item you can also find these small mirrors at dollar tree with their candles if you use a chalk marker or a paint pen you can draw a design on there or i'm doing a cute little saying that says baby it's cold outside and then taking a makeup sponge in some white paint and tapping around the edges what that does is it kind of gives it a frosty, snowy look and just kind of takes a simple item, turns it into a wintry one that's perfect for Christmas time and the cold winter season. Glass vases at Dollar Tree are such a great bargain. You usually can find some really nice ones there and they're fun to decorate and create projects with. This one we're gonna make into a wintertime icicle vase using a angled paintbrush in some white chalk paint. We're just kind of making some upside down triangles in different heights and thicknesses all the way around the top edge of this cylinder vase from Dollar Tree. Makes it look really frosty and pretty. When you get back to the beginning of going all the way around your vase, you also wanna go around the top edge to really finish it off. Let that dry, you can put it on a mirror from Dollar Tree, add in your Epsom salts, and then add a pillar candle from Dollar Tree, and it gives it a really pretty, snowy, wintry look. Speaking of candles, you can find these plastic battery powered sort of taper candles at Dollar Tree and we're going to make them have more of a rustic high end look. So we're going to take some hot glue and some jute and we are going to wrap the entire length of our candle with the jute. You just want to make sure you don't do the bottom as that twists off so you can add your batteries in there and also sit down into your candle cups. So make sure not to put any jute at the very bottom. Make sure to glue down the ends of your jute and you have really quick candles that might look a little thick into ones that have more of a rusticy look and they look really pretty once you add batteries to them and turn them on too. Now we're gonna make some Christmassy letter blocks using these wood drawers from Dollar Tree. I'm using some white chalk paint here to just paint all the sides white. It did take a couple coats, but once they were covered, let them dry completely and then we're gonna add some letter stickers to the front. I'm using some red vinyl that I cut out on my vinyl machine to add the different letters on here, but you could also use the poster stickers from Dollar Tree. They are black and I think sometimes they have different fun colors and shapes, so check there too. If you don't have a vinyl machine, I really like this red and white combo though. It gives it that Christmassy vibe. A couple different ways you can use these. You can line them up and put some bottle brush trees onto the blocks. Just kind of gives it a fun little look. 
or you could actually stack these all together and you can add some ribbon around them and tie them all together to give it a totally different look. You can also make your own Christmas pillows using these fleece scarves from Dollar Tree. We're gonna fold one in half, so we have a double thickness here, and then we're gonna fold it in half again up lengthwise. And that is going to give us a little area that we can then draw half the shape of a Christmas tree on, and I used a paint pen for that so you could see it here. And then we're gonna take our scissors and cut this out. Once you get all the way around it, you are gonna see that this is gonna open up and be a full Christmas tree. Also give yourself about a half an inch wider of a cut on this so we can glue this together or sew this together depending on what you wanna do. I did end up cutting off the trunk of my tree here. I just really like the look of the simple tree versus the one with the trunk on it. I think it'll be easier for stuffing too. I'm gonna be using some hot glue sticks that are actually made for fabric for this. So if you're not a fan of sewing like me, I'm just not great at it. Um, I usually tend to grab my glue gun, but they do have glue sticks made for fabric. And I'll link that down in the description box below too. I'm just going around the edges, making sure I have a nice hem all the way around to the bottom. Just don't glue the bottom shut quite yet. We do need to stuff this. So make sure these are all squished together, dried, and then we can come in with some stuffing and we are going to stuff our pillow. Once you get to the bottom, go ahead and add some more hot glue to close up the hole in the bottom. And it's just that quick and easy to create your own custom Christmas pillows. I know some people like to sew more than they like to use the glue, but you guys let me know down in the comments below, are you team glue or team sew? We used these little tumbling tower blocks earlier to make our cute little nativity scene. This time around, we're gonna make some quick and easy ornaments. I love these things because they are so versatile. I just drilled holes in the tops of the blocks and then used a Sharpie marker to create designs. I also added some words to some. I also think it would be so cute if you added ribbon to them, names to them, years to them, use them for toppers on gifts to get creative. This is an easy way to kind of use things from Dollar Tree to really get a fun custom look. You can use ribbon to tie them up, or I love this red and white baker's twine. It gives it a Christmassy vibe. So here they are just kind of strung up on my miniature Christmas tree. This would be a fun project to do with little ones if you drill the holes for them and then they just get a design and color on the blocks. Love, love, love this project. You can now find these big four foot Christmas trees at Dollar Tree in their plus section for only $5. I just did a big hacks video on this. It'd be a great one to click over and watch next. I'll have it linked after this project or after this video, but this project would be the perfect one to incorporate with one of those four foot trees or any Christmas tree that you might already have. This is a gunny sack I got from the farm store. They were less than $2 each and you get a huge amount of burlap with them with so much character. We're gonna use this to cover up the base of a Christmas tree because the Christmas trees from Dollar Tree definitely don't have very cute bases on them. They're just plastic, so. We're gonna take the gunny sack, we're going to cut it open so we can lay it flat and basically have a big piece of fabric to then cover the base of the tree with. This is a fun and also a rustic look to uh, add to your Christmas trees. We're gonna put the tree on the gunny sack and then we're going to add a blanket in there to add some bulk. You could use a pillow, you could use a towel, whatever you have on hand and then take some thick jute. This is four ply jute. We're gonna gather all of the fabric up around the base of the tree and use that thick jute to tie a knot to keep the fabric up and over the base of the tree. Then take your scissors and you're gonna go around the excess fabric, cut that all off and make it look a little bit more tailored, but we're still gonna have a really pretty rustic look. You'll also want to cut off any excess jute or tie it into a bow if you like that look. And then you have a much nicer looking base of your tree without a huge investment. Just a couple dollars for a gunny sack and also some jute to tie it all up with. Looks so much nicer now. 
Now we're gonna make a small beaded garland that would be cute for a tiered tray. I found these bells at Hobby Lobby, super cheap, especially when they go on sale, but Dollar Tree carries jingle bells as well. We're gonna tie one of the bells onto the ends of some jute and then string on some wood beads. You can find wood beads at Dollar Tree now, which I love. It helps to add a little bit of tape at the end of your jute to make it easier to string these beads onto. Do as many beads as you want to create whatever length of garland that you want. And when you get to the end, go ahead and tie on another jingle bell. And it's just that quick and easy. Now we have a beautiful piece to add to our Christmas decor. I have it in a old crock here, but it'd be cute on a tiered tray as well. This is probably the quickest and easiest but cutest way to count down the days until Christmas using a silver metal tray from Dollar Tree. We're gonna take some chalkboard paint, I found mine at Walmart, and use a foam paintbrush to then fill in the backside and bottom of the tray. I just freehanded this. If you wanted to, you could use some painter's tape and tape off the edges, but since it is curved and rounded, it's kind of easier to just freehand it. I did give it two coats and let this dry. The edges were kind of messy looking because, you know, I freehanded it. <laughs> so we're gonna cover that up with some yarn. I had this red and white yarn from years ago, finally using it, just using some hot glue around the edges there and putting that yarn up against the edge, going all the way around the edge and then just trimming it off with some scissors once I got back to the start. Then you can do this in a couple different ways. The way I did it is I used some regular chalk and wrote in days until Christmas just to make sure I was happy with the design and then came in with my white chalk marker and went over it. I did that because I didn't want the days until Christmas part to actually wipe off easily since we're gonna be changing the days every single day. So the chalk marker just kind of helps keep it that way. Then I took my chalk and went over all the chalk paint to prep it and prime it. It makes it a lot easier to erase your numbers if you do that. And then you can just use regular chalk to adjust the numbers until you reach the day of Christmas. I love when things are just so quick and easy and simple, but have such a beautiful look when you're done with it. This is definitely one of those projects. Now we're gonna take something that we might already have around the house, such as a lantern, maybe even have some outdoor lanterns, and we're gonna fill it up with some ornaments. Dollar Tree has lots of ornaments to choose from in so many different colors. I just used some ornaments that I already had laying around the house. And we're gonna use some Dollar Tree fairy lights to add to the inside of the lantern to give it that glowy look. You do wanna make sure you put the battery pack somewhere around the opening of the lantern so you can open it up and get to it to be able to turn it off and on. And then you just kind of shove your fairy lights in between the ornaments. Just a fun way to take an everyday item and give it a Christmas look. And I love that the lights in this lantern kind of give that, that glow of a candle, even though it's definitely not the traditional lantern with a candle in it. The lights really kind of help bounce off the pretty ornaments. Grab a couple boxes of candy canes from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using a cleaned out can for the vase of this candy cane vase, but you can also grab some vases from Dollar Tree and use one of those too. I put some double-sided tape all the way around the can and then use a combination of that adhesive and some hot glue to glue the candy canes all the way around the can until I got back to the beginning. Now, it still was kind of loose on there and I didn't want the candy canes falling off, so a quick and easy fix for that is also just using some Christmas ribbon and going around the base, tying a knot or a bow, and then you have more of a secured vase. You can put a candle in here, a battery power candle in here, or like I did, some greenery. So pretty. You could even add real flowers to this and add water too. I hope that these projects inspired you to hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more Christmas inspiration here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage. I also want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I'll have more videos popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch next. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays.